Hi, I'm Cider Spider, and I'm on a mission to complete every single achievement in Final Fantasy XIV. As you may know, some of them require multiple years of gameplay, but the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single leave quest. Or something. So, what's all this then? Well, even though I've been working on this goal for over two years now, it didn't occur to me until recently that I should document my progress so that kids on the internet can laugh at how much time I've wasted running in virtual circles for the sake of making a pointless number go up. So let's go ahead and get started. So, first things first, we gotta talk about leave quests. The elephant in the room of any achievement hunter. The handful of achievements tied to these are the ones that take a minimum of several years and are responsible for an untold number of completionist tiers. But let's start from the beginning. What is a leave quest? Well, it's a mostly neglected form of mini quests that you could do repeatedly as a training method. Leave quests were one of the selling points when this game first launched and even featured in the original trailer. The only problem is, they suck! These so-called quests are basically just fate events with extra steps. The interfaces for them are clunky, and the rewards aren't that great, so most people only do leave quests as a way to passively farm cash at endgame, because turning in simple crafting leaves is a lazy way to print money. But for achievement hunters, leave quests are something far more sinister. Cause you see, in order to do these quests, you need leave allowances, and the only way to get them is to wait. Yeah, like a crappy mobile game. Except one that's so inept you can't even pay to win it. Every day you get a total of six leave quest allowances, and that's it. But if you don't use your allowances, they cap at 100, and you stop gaining more until you use some of them. What this means is that if you aren't actively using your allowances, you're losing them, and there's no way to make up lost time. And you're gonna want to avoid losing any time you can because of... these. Of the three types of leave quests, crafting, gathering, and battle, you need to complete 5,000 of each. So if you do the math, getting a single one of these achievements takes... About 27 months! Yes, two years and three months per achievement. Now, since I've actually been keeping up with my leave allowances, I have 1,000 quests done in each of the three categories, meaning my remaining grind is a mere five and a half years. But that's not even all of it. You see, what I'm working on here and now is something called Grand Company Leave Quests, which use the same allowances as regular leave quests, but don't overlap with the regular achievements. And each Grand Company has an achievement for 500 Grand Company Leaves. Meaning on top of the 15,000 leaves needed for the normal achievements, you also have an additional 1,500 Grand Company Leaves just to add insult to injury. Because us completionists just didn't have it hard enough already. So lately, I've been treating leave quests like a weekly task. I let the allowances stack up for a week and then grind them all at once. I'm currently working on the Grand Company leaves, and once those are all done, I'll go back to dumping allowances into the big 5k achievements. And right, we're gonna be here for a couple of minutes, so this might be a good time to talk a little bit more about what this series actually is. You're probably getting the, the gist of it by now, but... Uh, this is going to be a little bit different from my usual style of video. I know normally what I produce is a lot more put together, it's a lot more edited, it's a lot more scripted. This is something that uh, I think is just going to be more of like just the casual gameplay experience that I have. You see, in between random MSQ related things and you know, live streams and whatnot, this is the type of thing I do. I grind inane leave quest achievements so that I can see my number go up. So yeah, it's safe to say at this stage this is very experimental and I definitely want as much feedback as I can get. Definitely let me know if this is the type of thing you enjoy and want to see more of, because I'm probably going to be producing quite a few more of these. And we'll refine the formula as we go and hopefully improve on it. Uh, but anyway, back on the topic of actual uh, achievements. As you can see, I'm sitting at 13,525 points which means I have about half of all currently available achievements. My favorite way to track this is a site called lolachievements.com. It's an unofficial website for tracking achievements, collections, and that sort of thing. They also have a built-in ranking that shows you how your score stacks up against other players on your server and in the wider world. I'm currently ranked 370 on Diabolos, and one of my short-term goals is to break into the top 100. It's a longer climb than it might seem, but you better believe I'm gonna get there sooner rather than later. All right, and with that, there is the last leave quest of the week. Let's go ahead and turn that in and be done with it. Absolutely lovely. Check that out. Zero allowances left. And that puts us at 321 out of 500 Maelstrom Company leave quests. Delightful. So anyways, on to the next thing. All right, gamer chads, it's time for Wondrous Tales. 
Now before we dive into this, full disclosure, I've actually finished all of the Wondrous Tales achievements. I'm doing this to help level some of my remaining jobs that still aren't at 90, and also cause it's fun. So without further ado, I've got one second chance point, let's just dive right in. Also I'll be doing these on Warrior because it's very swaggy. Alright, and there is a level 50 dungeon completed. Let's go ahead and mark that off. Alright, and a Ninja Turtle bites the dust, which is a level 70 dungeon complete. What could stop a train? Valcleave! I got a tank achievement, I wasn't even expecting that one. There you go, tanky warrior number one. Huh, 50 high level dungeons. Who would have thunk? And that is, of course, Sigma Scape completed. Alright, and it's time for you to sit down, fire puppy. Which of course means the Bowl of Embers Extreme completed. Well, thank goodness we skipped Soar. Thought I was gonna have to disband this party. Oh, uh, which, yeah, that's containment base hit 9 complete. This next one's kinda hard. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to pull it off solo or not, but we'll see how it goes. Um. Oh, okay. And there we go. That is Ultima's Bane finished. So now we find ourselves in a, a bit of a, a predicament, a, a pickle, if you will. I still need to complete three more challenges, but all of the soloable ones are pretty much done. So you know what that means. We're gonna have to defer to the duty finder. I think I'll go Scholar for this. Healer queues are a little bit faster, especially at midnight on a Monday. What are the chances I can queue into Anabasios at this hour? Oh my god, we got one. Let's do it. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I haven't done this fight normal mode since like week one. I don't even remember how to do it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have Levin Strike though, so we'll probably be okay. Oh, right, this is pretty cute. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. After having done the Savage version more times than I can count or remember, this is a bit underwhelming. <laughs> oh no, not ice and fire. How will we cope? Oh, uh... <laughs> I guess that guy's gonna die. Alright, if this is anything like normal party finder shenanigans, we're all gonna wipe on Marshallist. Here we go, gamers. It was nice knowing you. I didn't realize normal mode had light party stacks. That's actually kind of surprising. Heal us up, Selene. Or the white mage. White mage. The other Selene. What is this? <laughs> Bro, this is bizarre. <laughs> This guy's got some weird attacks in normal mode. <laughs> Every time I see the Ravening cast bar, it activates my brain cells and tells me to, you know, put down a sacred soil or something. Cause like normally that's a big giant raid wide, but on this version, it's just a fancy animation. <laughs> it doesn't hurt at all unless you just stare at it too hard. Normal mode gamers don't know how good they got it. I think we need to start making it harder on them. This is bizarre, dude. I think I literally only did this fight one time, not even exaggerating. And it's over. That was pretty fun. We'll give it to the White Mage, also known as Selene. And that is, of course, Anabasios complete. Oh, hey, I got another second chance point. We're gaming. I think I'm going to save those. I wonder if I can drag some poor chumps into Eden Fulmination. Actually, the queue was only like two minutes. Let's game. I can't believe someone's watching a cutscene to this at like 1 a.m. Not mad, I'm just surprised. It's 1 a.m. on a Monday and someone's doing Eden raids for the first time. <laughs> Where were you at? I'm gonna be real with y'all, I don't remember any of the mechanics to any of these fights, so <laughs> this is gonna be a learning experience. I think it's the small staff is the one we want to be by, because it's gonna small explode. Yeah, uh, people are eating balls. I, I think I should also eat balls. Let's eat balls. I hope for the best. And even if you miss, you'll probably die. Oh god! You mean eating balls didn't save me from this? Maybe I need to eat more balls. Who's eating all these balls? What does this even do? Your body's covered in conductive matter, reducing the damage of certain attacks. Okay, so I am supposed to eat balls. Alright, glad we cleared that up. Wow, <laughs> that one lucky black mage. Oh, not lucky enough though. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh gamers, are you okay? Sorry, we're gonna salvage this. <laughs> oh no, I didn't eat enough balls. Oh my god, we got everybody rezzed. Can't say we're anything but gamers. We here on Crystal Data Center don't mess around in our gameplay. We only do what is optimal and correct. Three Vuln Stacks is not optimistic, I'm gonna be real. Is it selfish if I crit Adlo myself? I mean, I did it anyway, so, you know, just kind of want to know if it's a dick move or not. Ten seconds left on the Vuln Stacks, but <laughs> that's plenty of time to die, believe me. Oh, crap. 
See, the problem is not the eating of the balls. The problem is I don't know when I'm supposed to eat the balls. I can comprehend the idea of swallowing these balls. I just don't know when I'm supposed to do it. I'm never ready for it. Okay, I think it's under the judgment vaults. We'll just spam shields and hope for the best. This is what scholar privilege looks like. Bam, there you go. Now nobody can die no matter what. If you die with 50% over shields, I hate to say it, but <laughs> that is your fault. All right, down goes pony bro. Oh, that was fun. I, <laughs> I have no idea what happened that entire fight. I'm gonna commend the black mage, we were bros. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, and that is Eden fulmination complete. I'll be honest with you, Chads, my remaining options are not great. I guess I'll do an expert roulette. Oh, hey, they're fine. This dungeon's fine. All right, it's time to separate the Chads from the Giga Chads. See how good our tank is. Tank is full of pulling. I appreciate that. If you wonder what endgame looks like in an MMO dungeon, it's basically this. You can't see anything, but if you're a proper gamer, you can still parse what's actually going on. As long as I can see the health bars up here in the top left of the screen, that's all the information I require. Man, our damage is not high. I'm not one of those little sweaty gamers that runs like the damage meters or whatever, but you can tell when the damage ain't high, cause things just take a long time to die. And that's what's going on here. We do have double black mages. <laughs> I just noticed that. Let's see if we're pumping or not. They're just gonna eat that, aren't they? Oh no. Is it those kind of black mages? <laughs> Respect. Yeah, this guy just certifiably said, uh, not his problem. It's gonna be his problem once he realizes that I'm not GCD healing. <laughs> Wait, am I... Am I crazy, or are these guys using Fire 1? Oh no. I've seen a non-zero amount of Fire 1 casts. And by non-zero, I mean, like, a lot. This is either Giga Chad or Giga Cringe, and I'll be real, I can't tell which one. Put it in the comments below if Double Black Mage Fire 1 spam is Chad or Cringe. Here's the question, are they at least using Fire 3 for the trash mobs? Okay, I, I think those are it. Okay, we are getting some AoE gameplay. What? Okay, there was a Fire 4, but why? <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't, I don't know, maybe it's some esoteric black mage knowledge that I'm just not privy to, but I don't think there's ever a reason to use Fire 4 on trash mobs. Here on Crystal, we've got strats that y'all ain't even heard of yet. This is where new rotations are born. Oh, here's me trying to energy drain without aether flow. We got rotations y'all ain't even heard of yet. This Chad Gamer has the, the Max Island Sanctuary uh, glam and just plays black mage any type of way. I honestly respect it. The slide casts cannot be beat. Watch him go. He's just too good. Some have even said he's three good. All right, cool. You know, week one of this dungeon, we were getting like, like 12 and a half minute, 13 minute clears. But the real meta is to just have fun. And you know what? We're having a good time. Firestarter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, not really much to say about this fight, it's pretty much just boring. As you can see, we're still Fire 1 gaming, so we're gonna be here for a little while, but it's okay. Alright, pot, it's pot window. Let's send Celine over there to heal him, I don't feel like moving. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, 19 minutes in either font. I gotta give it to the, the Island Sanctuary Black... It's, it's gotta go to the tank. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to give it to one of the black mages, but I think it has to go to the tank. I can't in good faith not give it to the tank. The tank was pretty solid. All right, gamers. It's time for the moment of truth. This is, of course, our final duty on the Wondrous Tales for the week. And now the big reveal of how many lines I got. That is the Aether Font at level 90 dungeon completed. Well, guess it's time to do this again. Well, on the upside, no matter what, I still at least get the experience for that, which is all I actually cared about anyway. Wow, such great rewards. Uh, I guess I'll take the treasure map? And that's our weekly Wondrous Tales. Wow, what a, what a worthwhile endeavor. So, uh, on to the next thing. <laughs> Just kidding. That was last week's Wondrous Tales. I gotta do another one. Oh, this better be good. Yeah, this ain't so bad. Let's get to it. Alright, there's another level 50 dungeon. And that's a level 61 dungeon. 
And there's Alexander the Creator, done. And there's Bowl of Embers Extreme, Akava Amphitheater. And there's Nidhogg X, Aren't the Jade Stoa Extreme. That's P9 again. How is every expert roulette I do double Black Mage? Since when do this many people play Black Mage? Okay, and that's an expert roulette done. So check this out. We've got all nine of our tasks completed. Let's go ahead and just bang, 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 bang. <laughs> well, I'll be. All right, here you go. Take it, idiot. Right, one line is almost worse than no lines because these still pretty much suck as far as rewards are concerned. I guess I'll go MGP and cash. And just like that, we get to level 85 Dark Knight. So now that that's out of the way, we can actually move on to something new. Okay, so next on our wonderful list of fun things to do are custom deliveries. This is another weekly thing. They only take a couple minutes, so we won't spend a lot of time on it. But basically, there's a handful of these NPCs around the world. They request specific crafted items, and I deliver it to them. There's a, a lot of achievements tied to these, but you don't actually get an achievement every week. But this week is special. As we gift this to our good friend, Kuranai. Check that out. The customer is always right, Kuranai. Five. And that is our 120th turn into Kuranai. So I should probably mention you're only allowed to turn in six items to one NPC per week, and you only get a total of 12 allowances per week. So you can give two NPCs six items per week. I've been working at this for a very long time. Um, basically, my strategy has been to just go from the bottom of the achievement tab and just work my way up, which gets annoying because they keep adding new NPCs, which default to the bottom. But basically, all I've got left is Margrat, Kuranai, Monago, and Zloe. Since I'm only doing two at a time, my uh, current targets are Kuranai and Margrat. And as you can see, in just a handful of weeks, we'll be done with Kuranai forever. All right, cool. Let's go talk to Margrat. Okay, here we are, Charlie and Hamlet. Let's go ahead and give Margrat our stuff. Please take these things faster. And what is this? Bam! The customer's always right, Margrat. We're already up to three achievements this week. We are off to a great start. And now let's get into some actual content. First things first, I need to drop off some of this junk we got during Wondrous Tales. I don't really have a whole lot of things I do with Grand Company seals, so lately I've just been spending them on the uh, Stormblood lockboxes. So let's just go ahead and buy a couple more of those. As you can see, I'm up to 56 now. One day I'm gonna open those. I, I feel like I want to get to like a big number first, maybe like a thousand. We'll see. Okay, and we are gonna head on over to the Domen Enclave, and of course, Gongos, Chads, and Gamers. We are going to Zadnar. All right, and anybody that knows anything about Bazia knows that there are a lot of achievements here, but there are two things that I'm concerned with today. First and foremost, we're gonna get Dark Knight to level 90. We're at 85 right now, so it shouldn't take too long. And along the way, we are also going to be going for Hell to Pay 3, the Dalriata Raider title, which is 50 clears of the Dalriata. As you can see, I just need five more. So let's see how we do. This could suck, or it might suck. Huh, <laughs> what do you know? I've been here for about a minute and the dollar out is already up. Let's get in there. We're off to a perfect start. All right, let's do this thing. We got our first dollar out already in progress. This is gonna be a good, good day. So yeah, I, I think every dollar out clears like two to three million XP, something like that. We're gonna get a good little chunk out of this. Oh my God, this guy has the King Bean title already. It's low key impressive. Assuming he didn't cheat. Okay, hopefully I don't have to main tank this because I'm bad at it. There also might be some rum involved. All right, well, looks like I am main tank. Did I mention I don't really know how to play Dark Knight? I guess we're about to find out the power of gaming. Bam! I think the big raids are truly underrated. It's one of the greatest tragedies that we didn't get one of these in Endwalker. Get him, Frey, get him. We um, have got him. We are Giga Chads. No third chest. Well, I hope there's a main tank here somewhere. Oh, King Bean is gonna take it. Alright, good. Oh no. I was not facing the direction I thought I was facing, and now I'm a slime. Well, this is pretty chill. This necromass is fleshy enough. This is the tea sipping phase of the fight. And he's dead. Our damage in this run is actually decent. It's not the best I've seen, but it's decent. Now we get to suffer good old laser hallways. Let's see if there are any memes. 
Alright, surprisingly no memes. One thing I've learned with this enemy is that all this circle slice attack does is hurt. And it doesn't actually hurt that much. See? Look, I dodged it. You don't even have to move. If people think they need to run in giant circles for this, you don't at all. You can stand still, you'll live. Alright. And this is where the fun begins. All I have to do is button mash and he will die. Ah, uh, Dark Knight. And gap close. Ah, oh, the glory of not being a healer. Right, get out of here, Dewan. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, gee, gee. Alright, there's that fight out of the way. Let's see if the fun box does in fact have any fun in it. Uh, no, no it doesn't. Well, time for this. Don't actually see any cutscenes. This might be a... This might be a pro run. Alright, yeah, we're gaming. Man, I forgot how much health this guy has. I thought our damage was pretty good, and I think it actually is, but... This is still taking us a while. Uh, good old Advanced Death 4. Because Advanced Deaths 1 through 3 just weren't good enough. They had to raise it up to the fourth notch. Can you guess what it does? Yeah, that's right. It kills you. All right, we get to even skip acceleration bombs. Okay, so we're, we're, we're doing okay. That's one Tauriata down. Question is, do we get any true gamer loot? Uh, no. <laughs> Lame. Back to the front. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Eventually, if I keep doing this fight, I have to learn the mechanics, right? Now look, I'm not complaining because I'm not a big fat baby. But it is actually pretty astounding how hard this fight is to read. It's probably the most difficult critical engagement in terms of like just being able to read it. I'm gonna be like over here, I think. And then we gotta get back on the safe. Oh man, oh man. Oh, we won, but at what cost? Anyway, on the bright side, I did hit level uh, 86, so that's pretty cool. Back to the grind. It's that time again. Dalriana! The last one was pretty smooth, but every now and then, these things are a complete mess, so we'll just see what happens today. And i tell you what else is smooth. This rum. Oh, no, wait for me. Oh, I was trying to get blastered. Still no extra chest. Very, very sad. I mean, just imagine turning into this guy and thinking you're on the winning team. You know what I mean? Like, all right, anything fun in the box? Well, I got Lionfield notes. I already had those, though. Very lame. All right, and there's our second Dalriata. Complete. Come on, treasure. Oh. Bruh, I just realized my metal is capped, and I don't know how long it's been that way. So let's go ahead and go dump that. All right, three more proofs of metal. Check that out. Just enough to get my 10th Ray of Fortitude. Heck yeah. Now if I just max out healing, I'll get the emblazoned title slash achievement. So that's pretty cool. And I'm about to lose my mind. I recorded a few hours of gameplay after that last clip, but it turned out that half of the video files were corrupted. I searched around to see if it was possible to fix them, and then after confirming the files were screwed, the other half also stopped working. So the entire ending to the video is ruined, and I'm about one more lost file away from uninstalling YouTube. So since the footage is unrecoverable, I guess I'll just anticlimactically explain to you what happened. I, angriest of madlings, most furious of babelings, littlest of gigachads, stepped once more into the Zadnar offensive. After laying low countless Imperial operatives, robotic scorpions, elephants, dinosaurs, and possibly unrelated wildlife, I was granted permission by the higher-ups to storm the Dalriada once more. I stepped tiny foot upon the beleaguered gangplank and promptly began to bash everything in sight with a fervor scarce seen since the time of the caveman. After murder Murderizing every last unmurderized being aboard the ship, I thence proceeded to murderize the twice murderized Diabolos, sending him back to whomsoever's backside the riders keep pulling him out of. I was declared victorious, showered in metal and precious metals, but alas could be afforded no noteworthy drops from the unforgiving reward chests. I then repeated this entire process twice more and celebrated emphatically at the sight of my shiny new achievement. Hell to pay three. I donned my sparkly new Dalriata Raider title and stepped out into the world, a new baby.
But then it turned out I was still only level 88 and three quarters, so I did what any aspiring Dark Knight would do and continued my training by feeding hippos and delivering pizzas. That got me all the way to level 89, by which point I figured I might as well replenish my supply of bicolor gems after spending them all to decorate these walls behind me, so I then proceeded to spend about two hours slaughtering everything in the Thavnarian jungle while watching videos on my second monitor. Ding, achievement unlocked, are you afraid of the Dark Seven? Alright, now that all that fun happened and you guys didn't even see it, let me try and redo my recap segment. Um, so, we got a total of five achievements this week. Not huge, but they are some decent accomplishments. That's level 90 Dark Knight. We got our 50th clear of the Dalriata. Two custom delivery achievements done, as well as a nice tank achievement for Warrior. So, a total of 40 points, bringing us up to 13,565 points in-game. Not bad if I do say so myself. One other thing I wanted to uh, highlight was I put away the raw emotions that I got from doing the Dalriata five times today, which brought our total emotion stack up to 142. I think I need around 230-ish of those to finish all of the Shadowbringers relics, so we are well on our way toward that goal. And I also have many other pieces of the relics stored here, as you can see. And we've got 700 Zadner lock boxes. I'll open those when I'm done with the grind. All good fun. And so, yeah, some of these early episodes in this, uh, this series, if it does indeed become a series, might seem a little bit light on achievements, but that's due to things like this. As you can see, I'm, I'm building up toward big payoffs later. So, you know, if it feels like we didn't get that many achievements, don't worry, they're coming. So I haven't even said anything about my animal relic collection. So just hang tight. Alright, that's gonna be it for this one, my friends. The moral of the story is, never trust cheap storage. Anyway, with a gain of 40 achievement points, I climbed four positions to rank 366 on Diabolos. There's still a long way to go, but in the coming weeks, I'll be chipping away at it more and more quickly, so I hope you'll look forward to it. I want to mention one more time that this is a new format of video for this channel and something I hope to do more of. If you've watched this far, please tell me what you think of it and if you'd like to see more. And if you want more entertainment, you can come see the grind happen live on my Twitch channel, where you can watch an ugly guy do the most boring and inane crap imaginable. I'll be back with more achievements soon, but until then, I'm going to bash my head against the wall in memory of my lost files. One like equals one bash. Okay, bye.